And I will tell you, the customer experience absolutely stinks. It stinks if you're a woman who works, that's me, has to drop a job and go take care of somebody, and they are an old person and their healthcare system and their information doesn't travel with them. Um, you've got the complexity of managing their payment, let me tell you, that stinks. You have the complexity of managing the emotion in terms of how you communicate with your family when you're the front line. And then you have the complexity and the irritation of having to navigate multiple physicians. I'm dissatisfied with it, so I think we're complaining a lot. And I think that if we did more focus on customer experience and we made it more pervasive, more pervasive and democratic as opposed to just holding the best ones back for the most um, the most rare or the specialty diseases. I think that as an industry, not just pharma, but as healthcare, I think that we would see some meaningful movement. And that's what we're focused on. With Salesforce, uh, what we are noticing is that uh, more and more institutions are now not seeing reps. Uh, there are many more restrictions on what reps can say. So um, we are exploring alternative models. Uh, of course, again, when you explore alternative models, you can speak with bravado, but when it comes to actually executing, you're thinking about your next quarter. There is a really invaluable role that reps play. And reps can play that role in terms of providing the support for the patient, um, helping the MA, helping the office staff. So yes, there's a clinical cell, but there's a big support that you can put around a patient. And so if you look at data, 20 to 30% of scripts on the low end never get picked up at the pharmacy. So it's tragic. So, you know, mom, dad, anybody in your life, they don't, they never get it, which is a huge problem. So there, there are things that you can do. There's partners that you can have that can deliver it to their home. And so that takes that, that off. You can talk to, you can, you can develop information for patients that your reps can deliver that is accessible. When we think of adherence, we all talk about push mechanisms, right? We don't talk about pull. How do we engage patients? Digital technology allows us to engage patients at a much, much larger level. We can use it to draw them in and be partners on, on uh, improving the adherence and the use of drugs. So that is where I feel there could be a fundamental shift on how we engage with them. And frankly, that would lead to a customer experience we talked about. There's just some basic fundamental things to your point that we could do as an industry that we're doing it here and we're gonna get some right, we're gonna get some wrong, but we're gonna learn and we're gonna make it better. We're gonna democratize it and make it, that's our mission is to improve chronic care. But that's absolutely a role that a rep can play because those are personalized one-on-one -on -one interactions and discussions that you have to have. But you can't build, I believe, an effective commercial organization solely built on the back of reps or solely built on the back of payer or solely built on the back of multi-channel. You do need to have an integrated approach to be able to, to manage the ecosystem and, and play an appropriate role.